Hello everyone, Wendy Ross for U.S. Trotting, coming to you tonight from Kansas City, Missouri at the UPHA American Royal National Championship Horse Show featuring the Standard Red Roadster 100, which nine Standard Reds will compete for a $100,000 final tonight. Now nine of these Standard Reds have bought slots into this $100,000 final tonight, ranging anywhere from $7,500 to $15,000 to compete tonight. Not only will they get to compete for that $100,000 purse tonight, the trainers also have an incentive, the winning trainer walks away with $10,000 and the reserve champion walks away with $5,000. So a lot of action coming your way tonight. U.S. Trotting, of course, a key component in uh, showcasing the roadster horses and promoting the versatility of the Santa Red breed. We're going to have action from the show and interviews throughout the night. Make sure you tune in. Wendy Ross back with you once again from Kansas City, Missouri at the American Royal National Championship Horse Show. Joining me now is this special horse, Uncle Beeve. He's one of the horses that will be in that Standard Bread Roadster 100. Of course, his owner and driver and trainer, Melissa Moore, Melissa out of Kentucky. Melissa, so nice to have you with us tonight. So great. And, and Uncle Beeve, he, he certainly is something special. Tell us a little bit about him. Um, I've had him for about uh, four years. We bought him out of the Memorial Day trotting sale. Actually, I didn't. Jonathan Fisher did. He sent him to me to train. I fell in love with him. And so we bought him. And he's just been an amazing horse. He's had a, a great show record, uh, especially this year. We won at uh, several shows. Uh, Lexington Junior League, we showed him under saddle. He won at Ocala. Um, we were second at the World's Championships. He's just, he's just a great horse. You know, a couple seconds coming into tonight, but $100,000 on the line. Now, you paid 10000 to get into the spot here to raise, to drive in this $100,000 final. Tell us a little bit about how the spots were divvied and what made you decide to, to give the 10000 to be in it tonight? Well, um, I love Roadsters, number one. So I think this is a great, I mean, we're so grateful for this class. This is a great um, initiative to do this. Uh, we bought the $10,000 slot from a friend of ours who had bought it and I wanted to get in it and I've been watching uh, the slots on the auctions and I was like well maybe I can get it cheaper or whatever so it came to the end and I hadn't gotten one so we bought one from somebody else from Scott Hagen who had bought a horse at a sale and it came with it so we bought it from him so that's how we got in. You know, a, a girl whose family grew up showing saddle breads, and of course, Uncle Beef shows under saddle as well, as you were telling us off camera. And of course, you've loved the Roadsters. Tell us a little bit about what's always drawn your, your heart to the Santa Reds and of course, the Roadsters. Uh, well, my parents, Tom and Donna Moore, were World's Champion Hall of Fame horse trainers, and my dad and mother both had some great Roadsters, um, standard bread Roadsters. Uh, my very first one was one of the special ones named The Secrets Out, and he won to the wagon, to bike, and under saddle World's Championship, so I was hooked after that. But my dad had numerous great ones. Um, my mother put William Shatner in the road bike for the very first time behind a saddle bread, so, you know, we just had, we just part of our life. And I, and I love the, I love their personalities, number one, and I love the speed, so it's, it's really fun to compete with other horses in, in a, in a speed class, but also it's a, it's a performance class at the same time. So you, it like we like to say, it's not how fast you go, it's how you go fast. So you want to look really collected while going at speed. So, of course, what are some of the other things that you guys look for when purchasing, or of course, what makes the the best standard breads for to compete against the roaster as far as confirmation, the way they stand, the way they go? Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Well, I think the hardest thing that we have to to look for is their headset because of course you guys when you're racing you want them to have a, a long head carriage and their neck straight out and we want them to be a little bit more collected into where they're over check in a different way than they do if they're racing so we want to make sure that their neck comes out of their shoulder in a way that their head is going to be a little more upright which in turn will help them be a little more animated so we want animation and a push from their back end and a little higher head carriage. Melissa, thank you so much for taking time to catch up with tonight. You know, hats off to our dear friend Tony Alanya, who hooked us up tonight with the connection. So I know he's rooting for you. Melissa is one of nine competitors in the Santa Red Roadster 100 tonight, $100,000 on the line. Here's a horse to root for, Uncle Beeve. I certainly know we'll be rooting for you, huh, buddy? Best thank of luck, you Melissa. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.
everyone, Wendy Ross coming to you once again for one last time tonight from Kansas City, Missouri as the Santa Red Roadster 100 has been completed. Joining me now are the winning connections of Happy Trail Sunny, of course, trainer and driver, Debbie Foley. Debbie, tonight going in the ring, he, he seems so, so good in there for you. Now, the funny thing is you were in the class before showing your gated mare. You, you fin How did you do in the class before? She did very well. She's a young mare who's only been shown three times and she's um, not... 100% finished and she makes a lot of mistakes and she's a real handful so uh, her and Sunny back-to-back uh, so that's why I've got the coke in my hand I'm ready to, <laughs> I'm ready for a break so we see you flying off of her going back in and then boom about 10 minutes later we see you in there back yes. behind Sunny what a heck of a night hundred thousand dollars congratulations to you thank you very much thank you very much he's a wonderful horse and, and uh, Anthony Miller, Miller uh, bought that horse in February and sent him to me. I've had road horses for Anthony for a few years now, and he sent him to me to train. And um, so I'm very happy to have turned it around to make this happen. Was there any time throughout the class that you said he's good tonight and, and you thought you could get the win? Well, you know, I can't judge and drive. I'm not that smart. <laughs> um, I can only show my horse and try to see where everybody else is and get the best spots I can get to show my horse's, you know, biggest benefit for him. And... Um, you know, I, I knew the horse when he went through the gate was on, and um, he's a very nice horse who, like I said, I just got him in February this year, and we started showing him in May, and that horse has gotten better for me at every horse show. Every horse show I've shown him at, he's better than one for. He's just continued to improve, so when he went through the gate, I knew he was on, so... Doing, doing the research on him, and that's what everyone said. He's consistent, and he had a big shot, so everyone thought that, that he could do it, and he certainly proved that tonight. Well, I was happy that it got to happen for him, and these folks are very nice people, and I'm glad for them to get to own him. Debbie, congratulations. Thank you very much. Now over here to the Whites, the owner of Happy Trail Sunny. Guys, congratulations. Thank now, you. Tell, us, tell us how you acquired Happy Trail Sunny, as everybody calls Sunny. him, and, and tell us how you felt after uh, you, you got the news tonight with the win. Oh, we were so thrilled. We were up there cheering as loud as possible, and uh, it was a wonderful class, and we know Debbie does such a great job, and we just adore Sunny. Now, when you guys acquired him a couple months ago, did we have this uh, Roadster 100 in mind? Was that the goal to, to be here tonight and, of course, to, to get that win? Well, we, we had heard about the class and we were very excited about that and knew we had a chance because being with Debbie and we knew the horse was very nice. So we were hoping. We had our fingers crossed and she came through for us. <laughs> now, now, where do we go from here? Is the season over or do we have a couple more shows to get to? Season's over for us, but Ashley is starting to learn to drive him and he'll take over the reins next year. So maybe we'll be we'll be interviewing Ashley but also as the driver not only as the owner next year. That's right. That's the hopes. Yes. Guys, congratulations. Thank you so Thank much. You Thank, Thank you. you.